I never thought it was going to be this hard. Uh, it was one of these deals where I figured, okay, we'll get the paperwork in. And when we talked to them about it, they said it's no problem within, you know, like Sandy was saying, 15 months. That was 11 years ago. When the Corbys first moved their family across the border from Montana, their daughter Casey was just seven years old. Now in grade 12, she still can't get a job, own property, vote, get health benefits, or attend college. She's looking forward to high school graduation, but has no idea what to do after that. It re really sucks right now because I do want a job. I want to start saving up for moving out on my own. At least she has her older sister Katina as an inspiration. Now a mother herself with a Canadian fiancé, Immigration Canada still won't let her get a job or collect health benefits. She had to go through her pregnancy relying on charity to pay for her medical bills. Bridges helped me through paying for the fees and whatever else. And at first I had to pay it. And then I got in contact with this Bridges place and they helped me through all through all throughout my pregnancy up until six eight weeks before I was supposed to have her. Okay. So do you have health care coverage now? No. Nope. Her mother Sandra still tears up when she thinks about how many times her family has teetered on the edge of bankruptcy or been threatened with deportation. Eleven years after moving her family north, she still can't do many of the things you and I take for granted. If my husband were to die tomorrow, my, my house would be taken away from me because I can't even go on the mortgage. And that's, that's not fair. That's not fair. And I don't want to go back down to the States. I want to be here. Ironically, Sandra is just the sort of person local companies are dying to hire. I'm fully qualified as a, a truck driver. I've got my um, commercial driver's license. I can drive anything out there on the road, school bus. Art Colby, along with Katina's fiancé, are the only breadwinners for this family of seven. And Immigration Canada still hasn't given the women approval to get jobs while the bills are piling up. At least let the people that come up here and that want to be a part of the productive society of Canada, at least let them have a job. And then if the process takes 10 years, then the process takes 10 years. You aren't making a family suffer because you won't allow them to work. Dale Hunter, Newswatch.